we have in here the iPhone dashboard or springboard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the application. It's going to open up and it's going to show the help menu or the, the first initial setup menu. Uh, as you can see, it says if you don't have an account, click the account creation button over here. If you do have an account, go ahead and skip the screen, click OK, and start putting your credentials, your username, and your password. I'm going to open it up just so you can take a look at it. Uh, we go ahead and click it, and it will load up the Auto Expresso website. And here you're going to put your Auto Expresso card number. This is the one found on the plastic card that was with your Auto Expresso kit uh, on the right side. Right side. You're going to put out express or a uh, pack number, which is the one on the sticker on your car. I suggest to you not to do this while driving. <laughs> uh, go ahead and click the submit button. This will process the data. It will ask you for username and a password for the account. It will ask you for a security question. You go ahead and fill those out. Once you have them, you can go click your home button and go back into the application go ahead and click OK as you can see here it's asking for your username you go ahead and put it and your password once you have your password in it's going to you, you have a set of options you can change you can set it to save it which I recommend that way you can uh, efficiently access your balance while driving you can auto refresh it uh, by turning this on and off Right now, the, the minimum is 8 minutes. Once you are done with that, you can save it. It will verify your data, log you in, and it will show you all the, your recent transactions. Plus, it will tell you when was the last time it updated. If you go ahead and click the bottom, this button over here is going to automatically refresh it. Uh, this is the info bottom or the about menu, credits, trademarks video tutorial the one you're watching right now uh, you can go ahead also and go back to the configuration menu in case you want to do any changes well that should be it and thanks for watching